Um, I am honored that uh, I was asked by Michael Carbajal to present his induction uh, into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, and I'll tell you, Michael Carbajal, the pride of Phoenix, Arizona, a young man who at age, yes, well-deserving, a young man who at age five was introduced by his father to boxing and trained in a little homemade gym in their yard where they literally used hoses to, as the ring and the, uh, <laughs> to make up the ring. Uh, it, to say it was makeshift is the understatement of the decade. He became a Golden Gloves champion. He uh, became an Olympic uh, silver medalist. And of course, ultimately, he would become a world champion. Now, we all know that every world champion, because they're great and they have great skills, has many fights where they dominate, they control the fight, they may score a knockout, and they show their greatness. And certainly, Michael Carbajal had many of those. But I want to concentrate on two fights that show something more, that show what he uh, truly was made of. And I was fortunate, I didn't broadcast many of Michael's fights. It was an honor to do so. And I did this fight in 1993. It was a title unification match between he and the great Chiquita Gonzalez. It was held here in Las Vegas, and it was the first time that junior flyweights each made $1 million in their purse. That's how big that fight was. It was a, a major fight. And in that fight, Michael went down twice in the second and fifth rounds. And things looked very bleak for him. But in the seventh round, he came back and he knocked out Chiquita Gonzalez in what probably was one of the great fights that Las Vegas has ever seen. That ability to come back and that heart is what carried Michael Carbajal through his career as a great champion. I did the last fight that Mark, Michael Carbajal fought in, in 1999. Uh, he was 32 years old. He went down to Mexico, to Tijuana, and faced Jorge Arce, a young, tough champion in Arce's hometown. And for 11 rounds, Arce was winning this fight pretty handily. Uh, he was way ahead on the scorecards. And I remember as I was announcing it, uh, feeling a little melancholy for Michael Carbajal's career. I had chronicled so much. And out of nowhere, in round 11, he found his right hand and knocked out Jorge Arce. That would be the last fight for Michael Carbajal. So he left the sport a winner and a winner in dramatic fashion. Michael Carbajal won 49 fights. He was 13 and three in world title fights. He was a three-time world champion. And that is why he is being inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. He now spends his time training fighters, giving back the gift to young men that he got as a youngster. And so it is my privilege and honor to take a look at this video along with you as we get ready to induct Michael Carbajal in the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's take a look.
Let me bring to the stage one of the most courageous and skilled fighters I have ever seen, Michael Carbajal. First of all, I'd like to thank Al. This, this becomes very emotional for me. I mean, hey, there you go. <laughs> but I shouldn't, you know, I want to apologize, but I shouldn't apologize because I know if you guys were up here where I'm standing right now, you guys would cry too. So <laughs> um, Al pretty much told my whole my whole career right there, but you know, I knew since I was a little kid that I was going to do this because I told my father. My father was a, a fighter himself. He was an amateur fighter, and um, he, he never t turned pro or anything like that. But I told my, my father, I'm going to be a world champion. That's what I want to do. He goes, you know what? You're going to wait till you get a little older. I was six years old. He goes, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna wait till you get a little older. I said, okay, I'll just wait. But you know what? I still trained. I mean, just running around the block in the neighborhood where I still live, in 9th Street. Never, never leave, I would never leave there. And um, that's just the way I am. Well, anyways, I, when I first started fighting, my first fight I fought in the amateurs, I had zero fights, and it was an invitational tournament. The kid had 32 fights already, and I took that. We took it. It was a tournament. I knew from there on, this kid had 32 fights already. I had zero fights. I beat him, even though I lost. They robbed me, but that goes on throughout my career, as you all know. But anyways, um, this is something that I, I just like to thank the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, Michelle Corrales, Rich Murata, and, and all their staff. Thank you for the induction. Hey, and um, I want to thank all you guys because you guys gave me that strength, all my fans. When, you got, when I filled up, when I filled up the America West Arena and all these arenas, I was like, damn, am I doing that? I was like, oh yes, you know, that, that, that hit my heart. But that's what, that's what I wanted to do, you know? And um, I just want to thank you all. And, and I'm glad that I gave you guys some excitement there. But thank you. Thank you, but you know, I was just as excited because I just love getting in there. No matter what you hit me with, I always tell these young kids, look, you got to love what you're doing. You got to get in there and love what you're doing. You got to love to fight because that's what I did. I loved it. Even when I got hit, you're, you're never going to slip all the punches, believe me. You're not going to slip all of them. You're going to get hit, so you're going to have to love to get hit. And that's one thing that I'm proud of. I've never been knocked out throughout my whole career. I'm very proud of that. And that's, that's where everything came from, was my heart. Whatever you hit me with, I would always come back. And that's what's happening with my life now. So I'm coming back. But I just want to thank you all. Thank you all for all the support. I love you guys for that. And you know what? That's why I'm champion. And also, uh, just for all you younger fighters, here's what you got to do, man. Be dedicated, disciplined, and have the desire to be world champion. You guys go do it, man. All right. Thank you very much.
Rich Murata will present to Michael Carbajal.